Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch in Pretoria, South Africa. My name is Gustav Müller and in this video I'm going to give a very short summary of the four bourbon whiskies that I reviewed over the last few days and with which I also did some wonderful food pairings. So a short summary today and I'm also going to give you reveal to you which one is my number one, my favorite out of these four fantastic bourbon whiskies. So I reviewed the Eagle Rare, the Evan Williams, the Buffalo Trace and the Woodford Reserve Double Oat. So let me start with the Eagle Rare 10 year old that I did review. What a fantastic bourbon whiskey matured in new charred American oak barrels for 10 years. Bottled at 45% alcohol by volume and my summary for this particular one was honeyed cereal, coconut marshmallows, caramel chocolate and cinnamon pepper. That was my summary for that magnificent bourbon whiskey. My food pairing was French toast with crispy bacon, a thin slice of cheese and then either honey or maple syrup and I dusted it slightly with some cinnamon spice and what a magnificent pairing with the Eagle Rare 10 year old bourbon. The second one that I reviewed was the Buffalo Trace matured in new charred American oak barrels bottled at 45% and my summary for this one was honeyed cornbread and caramel popcorn. That was my summary for this Easy drinking, wonderful everyday bourbon whiskey, yet layers of flavors that will also satisfy and intrigue even a connoisseur. And that is my personal opinion. I paired this one with Buffalo Wings, Buffalo Trace with Buffalo Wings. And um, that was a magnificent pairing as well. I had a lot of fun with these bourbon whiskies and pairing them with some creative food pairings. So this is the one that I prefer amongst these four and I'm going to have a quick sip. So cheers. Outstanding. Outstanding. The third one that I reviewed, Evan Williams, one of the only bourbon whiskies vintage bourbon whiskey so that one is the single barrel vintage 2006 matured in charred american oak barrels and according to the distillation and bottling date on the label it's a nine year old bourbon whiskey the alcohol by volume 43.3 percent and my summary for that one Caramelized apple with raisins and winter spices and I paired that Evan Williams with honeyed waffle and spare rib meat. The honeyed waffle, it, it's a normal mini waffle but slightly honeyed. Spare rib meat with that wonderful barbecue sauce. It was just something to die for. Absolutely wonderful. And then the Fourth one that I reviewed and not in this particular order that I'm giving the summary was the Woodford Reserve Double Oat. Now that is an interesting one because it was matured in custom crafted barrels and then rebarreled in heavily toasted and lightly charred oak barrels. So double barreled, bottled at 43.2%. My summary for that one, well balanced, caramel, citrus, chocolate shortbread and I paired it with millionaire shortbread which is a layer of shortbread with a layer of caramel and a layer of dark chocolate and uh, it was a wonderful pairing. Personally my best pairing with these bourbon whiskies was the waffle with the spare of meat. That pairing I enjoyed most. But which one is my favorite? My number one pick out of these four bourbons and let me tell you it took me several days to come to a decision because you're looking here at outstanding bourbons. It took me several iterations of tasting 
And then I picked this one, then I picked that one, and then I picked the other one. It was a very difficult decision. I was almost, in a certain sense, like my wife, always when I ask her to pick something, pick a favorite holiday destination, pick a favorite color, pick a favorite dessert, she always says, but Gustav, can I pick one or two? Can I pick two or three? I feel like that. But at the end of the day, I chose this one, which is the Woodford Reserve Double Oat. Woodford Reserve Double Oat as my favorite amongst these four. And it was by a microscopic margin. The Buffalo Trace will forever be my go-to drinking bourbon because of the price here in South Africa and because it's so magnificently easy to drink. It is just outstanding. But for a special occasion, it'll be one of these three. And if I have to pick one, it'll be the Woodford Reserve Double Oak. These four will always be part of my whiskey shelf no question about that. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next series which is going to be a whole range of 14 year old single malts. Until then, cheers.